G'day, I'm Patrick, and I wanted to have a look at this Armour Tool mini jig. It's a pocket hole system, but it's really small, uh, which means you can take it to the work rather than bringing the work to the jig. So I'll unpackage it, show you what's in there. This is by Armour Tool. They make a few other pocket hole uh, jigs, but the ones I've looked at before are all bench mounted. Um, for me, it makes a lot more sense to be able to bring the tool to the workpiece. This is the jig. It's pretty small. It has the drill bit attached to it, and uh, it can auto adjust to different thicknesses of timber. It'll go from 12 mil up to about 38 mil, or half inch to one and a half inch, um, which means you can use it on a number of projects, regardless of using, if you're using standard you know, 18 mil board or something a bit thicker. Comes with the driver as well. Uh, the Allen key is mounted on board so that you can adjust the collar on the drill bit. And that all gets adjusted at the same time when you're setting the thickness of the timber, which is really handy. And I love that it's stored on board and everything is stored together because if you're like me, this probably isn't gonna live in its case. It'll just be floating around the bench and I need everything to be enclosed so I don't lose it. One other handy feature is that it actually has a magnet on the face, which means you can use one of the armor tool clamps like this one and it'll stick on there and you can move it from piece to piece without with just one handed. So, you know, it's a small thing but it would make a difference to efficiency if you're doing a number of pieces. I think it's important to be able to move a jig like this around because you know you might use it to build a bookshelf where you've got really long pieces. It's just not feasible to be able to lift a, you know, a two metre piece of timber up on end into a bench mounted uh, pocket hole jig. Now in my really fine furniture, pocket holes don't see a lot of use, but they're definitely really handy for putting together cabinets in my workshop jigs that I use for squaring up other work, you know, bits and pieces like this. And their advantage of just using a pocket hole over just using regular screws is if I was just going to screw this together, you'd see the screws on the face, whereas by pocket holing it, the screws can be kept on the inside. There are plenty of ways to fill these. The holes themselves are, you know, designed to be put in a place where you don't see them. And that's why they can be put on the inside of the work rather than the outside. So, I'll just quickly show you how to set this. Remove the Allen key. Make sure the collar on the drill bit is loosened slightly so it can slide. And then we're gonna press this button in the middle with my thumb and this whole thing opens like a caliper. We're going to set the thickness of the jig on the piece of work that we're gonna use. So this is 25 mil ply. So then you can release that button and it is auto, it has auto set the collar on this drill bit. So then you tighten that up. You can replace the Helen key so you don't lose it. The drill bit comes out and that's what you use to drill the pocket holes with the jig. You keep the jig set at that same thickness that it was, and then it's ready to drill those holes. It has this really handy swiveling end stop here, which means you can actually hang this over the edge of the work, like that, to get it to sit in exactly the right position. Or if you need to get into the corner of a piece of work and you can't have something hanging over the edge, you flip this around, put it back to its original place, and then you can slide it right into the corner of a piece there if you wanted to add some additional pocket holes into the work. So I'll flip that stop back around because I want to use it. And now I just need to clamp this onto the surface. Okay, so. I've hung that over the end. I'm gonna place this onto the workbench, clamp it down and drill a pocket hole. This uh, armor tool clamp 
doesn't quite fit on this bench because the workbench is too thick, unfortunately. I can place this drill bit into my drill. That collar depth is already set, so we're ready to go. So, two pocket holes, the exactly the right distance from the end. Now, we can have a look on this jig, and it's got a little white line next to this red, which just says one and a half inch. That tells us what screw to use of the, uh, of the Armour Tool colour-coded screw system. So I can grab two of these red screws, I know they're going to be the right length, and then I can screw my piece of work together. Like any piece of joinery, even though this is just being screwed together, I think it's still worth clamping them before you screw them to make sure they stay in exactly the right position. If it's just a really rough piece of work, it doesn't matter, then go for it. But I've found that pocket holes, even like regular screws, as you put them in, they can move the work slightly. So I think it's really worth putting a clamp on there to make sure it's exactly where you want it to be. You'll need to use the long driver bit provided, otherwise your, your driver might not get close enough at that steep angle to um, put these screws in. So there's our little um, you know, right angle that I've created. I use these all the time in my workshop as guide blocks for gluing up other pieces. I make them in all kinds of sizes. They need to be strong and square and the pocket holes are a really simple way to get it done quickly. You could absolutely put some glue in that surface before you pocket hole it and it would make this even stronger. The advantage, like I said before, is I don't have metal on the outside that's going to damage uh, whatever work I'm doing, wherever I'm clamping this in the corner of a cabinet. All I have is timber there, which makes it you know, really nice and will protect the work I'm doing. So, like I said before, this can be done on any thickness, between about 12 mil and 38. Um, really efficient, strong, much stronger than you would imagine, and really easy to use.